What's up, y'all? Okay. Okay. Have you ever put on a set of uh, test pipes or an exhaust up close to the manifold and you hear it ticking? Uh, i grab. These are the JHM without uh, the uh, cats. Hang on really quick. Sorry. I'm a one-man show out here. As you can see, this is Arizona. There's not too many friendly people and my neighbor's got his own stuff to work on today. So, most of the time it's just me. Anyway, back to the point. Alright, you ever hear a ticking after you get the exhaust on? Like, oh shit, what the hell is it? Oh my god. There's a crack in the well. There's, you know, blah, 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 whatever. Alright. Is there a leak? There's a leak in the exhaust. And I'm going to do for comparison. Alright, do you see these are top speed i just put them on yeah they blew but it's it's what they do these are the jhms now if you're gonna go oh well top speed are cheap jhms are more performance hear, hear me out i'm gonna tell you there's nothing wrong with the jhms they're not top of the line well i, I mean anyway i don't know what what is top of the line what you pay for them I don't, I don't think that's the case. Everything you put on aftermarket is going to have and need some tweaking. Um, this is actually the wrong side. So, with that being said, it doesn't matter. Fitment, uh, welds, you know, for something like this, how the product performs compared to stock. That's the only thing that really matters. Okay? All right. So, I'm going to tell you, JHM, top speed. You're thinking top speed is cheap. <clears throat> JHM is the better. Excuse me, just clearing my throat. All right, not the case. It, everything you buy for your car that's performance is going to be aftermarket. Aftermarket means that somebody made the part after the car was put on the market. No matter what part it is, it was put on the market. Somebody else came up with something. Everything is a knockoff. Nothing is a one-off. When you buy aftermarket parts for a car that you bought from a manufacturer nothing's after or nothing's uh, a one-off it's all aftermarket so let's get that straight JHM probably has a better name than top speed I'm not sure I don't know I'm not doing that kind of evaluation at all it's not my concern I just want the best part for the best money uh, really and that's it okay now getting back to the exhaust can you tell it was leaking Yes, that is how you tell that your gasket is leaking, okay? That is a perfect example. So if you pull it off and you're wondering, if, you, if you're hearing a tick and you're going, oh shit, if I pull it off and that's not it, well, it, that's the giveaway. Sometimes you can see it, you know, if you got visible, you can see it from the side, the uh, carbon buildup. But, you know, this car, you cannot tell from the side. I even put my bore scope around there to see if I can see it. But if you can look, there's nothing that would say it's, it's been leaking. You know, from a, maybe that little line would have been a little bit of a giveaway. But nevertheless, I know where the sound was coming from. I know what I did to my car. So it all pointed to one thing, the gasket. Okay? Now, what is one part better than the other? And if you can see... A little bit of push by, not much, but you can see definitely push by. All right, so if comparing you think apples to oranges, no, it's oranges to oranges because this is passenger side, right side. This is the JHM. Can you see it? Can you see it? So, no matter what part was better, they all can leak. Remember, it's an aftermarket part. Customizing, tweaking it in some in some way uh, will help you out. I'm going to tell you this. Is I should have did it. I didn't do it, and maybe I think at that time I did it for a reason. I wanted to see how well the gasket would hold up. I made another video of it. Here's a st stock gasket. You can see. But that's the at the downpipe. That's what that leak was. These are the stock gaskets. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you can see a little bit there. This two-piece design, tin, so it's kind of trying to warp itself to what, you know, this would be. 
And is it better than this one here? No. I like this because of the thickness. There's some cushion. There's some, you know, a, a, a point to where it, you could kind of crush this one into the system and make a better seal over the stock. Now for the stock exhaust, yeah, these are fine because those surfaces are so true. All right, remember, this is aftermarket. That means somebody said, hey, I got a flange, I got the design, let me put it together, and it's gonna perform better. It does, but you're gonna run into issues like this, okay? A leak. Yeah, it sucks, uh, especially on the Audi. They're so hard to fucking get off and get to. And sorry about the swear word, but that's what I do. Um, so, what is the fix? The fix is, and I said in the other video, check the deck see if it's decked you know none of these especially when you start applying heat with the weld this will tweak a little bit either way <clears throat> but I'm going to tell you this if you've seen the, uh, the JHM uh, well, actually the other one was leaking on the passenger side uh, the top speeds or the driver's side the top speeds leaking on the uh, uh, passenger side doesn't make either one of them bad okay now what I should have did which, like I said, I think I remember I was doing this for a reason, to see how well this gasket would seal. It's not any better, it's not any worse than the OEM, okay? This is what this is made for. Okay, so what I'm going to do is clean up my surface really good. Take some acetone, I'm going to clean this, get this back nice and shiny on both sides. I'm going to sand this down, well, you know, clean it up. I'm gonna put me a nice thick bead around here, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing on the manifold side of this gasket, a nice thick bead. I'm gonna give it about 10, 15 minutes to set up. Set up means that way it's not gonna start oozing and getting all over the place. You let it set up, that means the outside gets uh, a little tacky, but not so you're not, you know, getting the mess all over the place, all right? I'm going to put this on the manifold and also clean up that surface, okay? That bead is going to seal towards the manifold. The bead that's on here is going to seal towards, obviously, the rest of the exhaust. But you want both of them to set up to a certain degree. You don't want to put it on while it's soaking wet. I know I'm an impatient person the same way. I don't like to wait. I like to get it done, get it up, get it in, get it done. But that's what that's what's going to take to finish. So apples to apples. The products are the same. They both can do the same exact thing as far as leaks or, you know, have a little bit of issue. Um, one's non-catted, one is catted. I want it catted and not non-catted. And I guess you can go two different ways. You can get down pipes with cats on them or you can get the cats closer up to the, uh, uh, where actually where the noise would start. The rasp is going to start closer up to the engine. Uh, that's what I was doing with the catted ones. I was grabbing that noise right away and toning it down before I, because that's what I want. But nevertheless, if you don't mind it, you can always get catted uh, uh, downpipes um, or go with the catted uh, uh, test pipe that I did. Um, I don't know if I'm going off base any. Uh, really quick, we're going to check the welds. And the welds would show the same exact thing. They would show carbon pushing out of any little pinhole. I'm a welder and I do that as well. Now I'm going to tell you, top speed welds, they're nice. The bottom, it wasn't leaking. Um, but check all of the welds all the way around the piece. That way, if I needed to, I can go back and just tack it out, uh, seal the weld up. Um, and I'm not seeing, even around the O2 port, nothing. No carbon anywhere. Uh, this looks like carbon. It's actually just a hot stain. It's not carbon. So, my only leak is coming from the gasket manifold side. And actually, you know, if anything can make you happy when you're doing it, it's, it's something like that. It would be worse to see a weld, which I don't. And the same with the JHMs. There's no leak on the welds. You know, the welds are nice. That looks like it's missed, but it actually sealed. You can see there's no carbon push out. It's so tight of a tolerance. And it's actually, this is done right. 
they're both done right. I'm not going to say that, but you know, you're not getting any leaks anywhere from the welds. That's a that's a major concern. Uh, the you know, when you're going to put these on, when you're going to do an exhaust fail safe. Go ahead and use it. It's, it's not going to make it look ugly. If done right, nobody even notices it's in there. But it's going to add you that little bit of protection, that little bit of security. Um, so you're not having to pull the exhaust back down and get into the leak. I, you know, took the exhaust down to crank these down a little bit more, especially that one that's closer, you know, towards the driver's side on these uh, uh, test pipes on the Audi. It's a bear to get to, but you can get to it. you got to lower your trans. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, you, you lower the trans. I've done it on this one. That's how you do it. Um, but fail safe backup. Get you some high temp copper. I know it's kind of old school, but it's still relevant today. Nothing is going to seal when you've got two surfaces that are foreign to each other. It means they were not made at the same time with the same exact specs. Aftermarket parts are always going to come with some kind of tweaking. As long as I've been doing this in over 30 something years and you know, I guess now we're into the modern stuff But even the old parts were the same way. We had starters. We had to shim out Sometimes you bought a starter that was bad. So it's just the nature of the beast um, Nothing goes identical or exactly perfect um, But go ahead and get yourself a little bit of backup. This is an ashtray. So it's gonna be an overflow for my trains um, But yeah, go ahead and get you some uh, gasket sealer on there, gasket maker on there. And you can see these are the custom lines for the trans cooler. I'm doing two jobs here trying to fix the exhaust and then I'm going to be routing these lines. My new uh, trans lines. I'm probably going to pull this here. Run them nice and low. Up under there and then to the trans cooler which is going over there. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you. Yeah, I did find the tick. And again, yeah, these are top speed. I talked to them over there. I guess there's a couple other guys. But JHM, I guarantee you, everybody out there that's selling these test pipes that are not putting them on themselves, uh, everybody's going to have this same issue. So go ahead and just do put the copper on there. The other companies, if you take it to a muffler shop and they're having the same issue, here, they've got enough tools to heat that up, to deck it out, you know what I'm saying? Deck it out means to make sure it's perfectly flat. But unless you're miking each side all the way around, which is going to be super difficult to do with your motor in the car, you're not going to make these things meet the other one totally perfect. So you need something with a little bit thicker gasket. And then go ahead and get yourself a little bit of backup. That's going to take care of any, I mean, we're talking maybe one ten, ten thousandth of a a gap it'll seal it and you know you're good to go this stuff will last forever once it hardens up in there it actually becomes part of the gasket itself um, so it's a good idea just to go ahead and do that when you're going to be doing your exhaust uh, the same thing with your connectors under the car you could use a little fine just a little bit it'll stop you know these little you know, uh, you know, but, hundred thousandth of an inch of a hundred thousandth of a millimeter uh, gaps which you know of course air can get through especially forced air um, so there you go there's a quick fix for uh, any test pipe not just test uh, top speed not just JHM any of them out there they all have the possibility of doing it sometimes it's the driver side sometimes it's the passenger side if you can see I had the problem with both but on opposite sides of the car. So neither one of these test pipes are terrible. Um, but again, it's an aftermarket part. It's going to take a little bit of... Uh, take an extra step for security reasons. And, uh, okay. Thumbs up. I'm going to get back to the mod later.